What's up, everybody? Matt Nuzzo, we're here at Rail to talk to you about the all-new Slingshot Raptor. So Slingshot, uh, I think they saw those like super monster trucks driving around called Raptors, and they got like amped up by the name. So they're like, we got to make a brand new kite to go along with that really awesome new truck that's out there. So they scalped the name and made a really awesome new kite called the Raptor. We've been using the nine meter. It's a five strut kite that is designed to go straight, go big, and be stable and handle a lot of breeze with a lot of big gust, gusty conditions. So in our experience riding this, that is absolutely what it did. So this kite, uh, when you fly it, it feels really solid and stable in the air. Um, a lot of times five strut kites feel heavy. This didn't feel heavy by any means. It didn't feel light. It didn't feel like a light, crisp little wave kite, but it felt like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get powered up on this kite and it's gonna handle every bit of that and have no problem. So uh, we, you know, we flew this kite kind of in the 20 to 30 range. And even when we're hitting kind of the gusts into the 30s, like it still like felt like this is a nine meters, like it wanted more and it could handle more. So um, we got out there, you know, the ease of use of jumping is kind of the new thing in good kites that go big because it's one thing to go big, but you also want to know where you're going to land, be able to do tricks and be able to come down with this. So this had a really actually nice bell curve style jump. A lot of high jumping kites that go straight up and then you get lost in space because you're super high in the air and you don't know where you are and it's hard to land those tricks and then you just like catapult to the ground. This had a nice bell curve jump, but it was really kind of easy on that bell curve jump. Soft landings came down easy and I couldn't feel where the kite was the whole time. It doesn't have, uh, you know, has just enough bar feel and bar pressure that you can actually feel where the kite is in the air when you're spinning around and trying to do tricks. Um, so some of the things that you look here, it's not super high aspect. Like most kites, I'm gonna have to take a shot, but most kites that are super high aspect and really skinny, um, you know, they're, they're gonna go up high, but they're gonna get the, give you that lost feeling. But this one's a little fatter through the middle and it has a nice wingtip shape with a nice curve on the wingtip. Again, I was expecting to have it ha uh, have a little more difficulty relaunching. I'm riding in a lot of breeze, but like no problem relaunching this kite. I think it's because that curve in the wingtip and that full fatter wingtip on this kite gives you that kind of smooth power through the landing. It still does go forward in the wind window, so it goes upwind well and gets you that that uh, that pop off the water. You can see that they worked on the, the aerodynamics of this kite because they really trimmed down the struts. Strut diameter is real skinny, so that normally means that it's going to be, you know, like uh, it's going to have a lot less uh, air, air uh, dragging resistance. Also, leading edge is pretty skinny, so it can fly forward in the wind window. Again, but it doesn't make it twitchy or kind of awkward feeling. Um, the bridle system, straight up simple, just very easy leading edge uh, bridle system. And of course, they've got their famous split strut and one pump design, which, thank you, Slingshot. Split strut one awesome adds to the kiteboarding industry that we are forever thankful for. So the Raptor comes in a range of sizes. It's made for going huge, It's made for cruising back and forth. It's really made for someone that wants to have a high performance kite that maybe was on the rally in the slingshot line. And that was like, you know, uh, you know, I just want something more than the rally. I want something a little more juice, a little more frame, a little more stability. Going into the Raptor, it's going to be an awesome choice for you. If you want more reviews, go to realwatersports.com or give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000. We'll see you on the water.